The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To find the value of x in this example, notice that we have a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared where A and B are the legs of the right triangle, and C is the hypotenuse. So here, since our legs have lengths of 6 and 8, and our hypotenuse has a length of x, we can set up the equation 6 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared. Solving from here, 6 squared is 6 times 6, or 36, and 8 squared is 8 times 8, or 64. So we have 36 plus 64 equals x squared. 36 plus 64 is 100, so we have 100 equals x squared. Now to get x by itself, since x is being squared, we must take the square root of x, and if we take the square root of the right side of the equation, we must also take the square root of the left side of the equation. On the left, the square root of 100 is 10, and on the right, the square root of x squared is x. So our answer is 10 equals x.